In today's video, we are going to turn Shopify's free theme craft into a dark tech theme. This is a really simple transformation that anyone can do. I'm going to walk you through each of my settings and I have also created a free cheat sheet for you, which you can download for free through our private Facebook group. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. All right, so first things first, let's take a quick look at what craft looks like before. Now let's get into transforming this theme. All right, so first things first, you will need to install craft. So from your Shopify dashboard, click online store, scroll to where you can see free themes and click explore free themes. From there, select craft and add the theme to your library. I'm going to walk you through all of my settings in this video and I will be popping up the settings on the side like this for easy viewing. And as I mentioned, I've also created a cheat sheet containing all the settings on one page, which I've posted in our private Facebook group. Okay, with the theme installed, click customize and let's get started. First, we are going to work on colors. So click theme settings, colors, and follow along with me. Once you get to accent one gradient, if you click on the circle, you will be presented with several presets to choose from. The one I use for this design is this one right here. By now you will have entered all of your colors, so you can now select them from here to speed up the process. All right, let's save our work and let's move on to the next section. The next section we are working on is the checkout, which you can find at the bottom here. From the dropdown at the top, select checkout so you can see your changes. Where it says form fields, we are going to switch it from white to transparent. Save your work and we are going to move on to typography. From the drop down, select home page. Then select Typography. We are going to use the font Poppins, so go ahead and start typing that in. And when it appears, you can go ahead and click on it. And then we're going to change this from regular to bold. We are going to change the body text to Poppins as well. and then select medium. The last thing to do here is to change the heading font size scale up to 125%. Save your work and we are finished here. Now it's time to move on to the homepage settings. When it comes to the sections, you can really add or remove whatever you'd like in order to best suit your store. But there are a few settings that I've changed on the homepage that I'm going to show you. The first thing is the logo. Click on header, upload your logo, change the desktop position to middle left, and then change the size to 160px. 
As for the sections, you can set these up however you want, do what works best for your products and what you sell. I filled most of the default sections in, I removed the blog post section, and I added an extra column. But again, this part is really just preference. You'll notice when you go to a section, you have a choice between accent one or two, background one or two, and inverse. So here's what I did for each section. For the announcement bar, I selected accent one. For the header, it's background one. And then for all these homepage sections, I've also set it as background one. When we get down to the bottom, the email signup will likely be accent one, but we are going to switch this to accent two so that we get the black form fields instead of the accent colored ones. If the email section is the section that you're keeping, go through the drop down menu and make sure each of the pages has the email section set up as accent two, because by default it will be set to one. For the footer, set it to accent two as well. Click save. Now navigate to your default product page from the drop down menu. Now click on image with text and change the color scheme to accent two. After that, click save and you are done. Now let's take a look. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products and updates that affect you. So turning on notifications for this channel will let you know as soon as we upload.